David. I still like the other cover more. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about, about a book that comes out today, April 9th, 2019, and that is The Last by Hannah Jameson. <laughs> That's a pretty cover. Um, we'll actually get into that in the spoiler talk. Uh, right off the bat, my original, my original uh, rating for this was going to be around 3.5, and then I rethought that because of spoilers. So if you want to hang around after the outro, that's where I do my spoiler discussion. Um, I'm going to try and stick to, you know, at, I'm, I'm going to try not to give away anything about this book that is not in the blur. This was sent to me from Atria Publishing. Um, I was originally sent a bound manuscript, and then I was sent the final hardcover. So, David, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, David Brown, Vatria Publishing, is who I'm talking to. Um, but this this novel starts off. There, you, you have no idea where where we're headed, what we're where we're going, and even by the end, I wasn't quite sure where the author was taking me. I I, I wasn't. 100% sure on the plot details. What I did know is that I loved all the characters. Um, I especially liked the back and forth between the characters. Uh, being in, it is written in a epistolary, epist I just want to say epistolary, that's not right, it's epistolary, I think. Um, it's written like a book after the fact kind of thing, almost like journal entries every single day. Um, another thing I want to talk about is this, the book does not rely on its uh, ode to The Shining. But there are several Stephen King tidbits in here. There's a quote from Stephen King in here, and there's a The Shining reference. Um, it's li she literally says The Shining in the book, and then later on there's a King quote. Um, is it like The Shining? Nothing like The Shining. Um, the way this was originally pitched to me, um, I'm actually going to, actually, I'll leave that for the spoiler discussion, because that's one of the reasons why I raised my uh, review score from 3.5 to 4. So, as of this video, I'm sticking with my 4, because the book has stuck with me as much as possible, and I think that my expectations kind of ruined some parts for me. With you going in, knowing nothing about this book, you will, you shouldn't be disappointed as I was. And what I mean by, all I mean by that is, um, I was looking for a certain element, and that element wasn't there, but it's not fair to judge the book on something that I expected. Instead, I want to judge the book on what, what the actual blurb says. So if you go out and you read the blurb, is the blurb a good way to decide whether or not you like this book? And I believe it is. Um, the, the issue I came was I was talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody and I got some false expectations out of it. We'll talk about that more in the spoilers. But um, I enjoyed it uh, enough to give it four. There, there's certain elements that I have forgotten, like the tie-up of the... There's also a murder mystery. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that panned out. If it did pan out, I'm not sure, but that is definitely not the point of the book. The point is these people surviving after whatever happens. Um, I know there were some, if, you, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, uh, I especially think that you'll like this book. Um, it has a very, very strong Walking Dead vibe. They go, I mean, it's just about any post-apocalyptic thing, but there is, there are scenes of them going into town and coming across other people after the quote-unquote apocalypse happens. Um, but there's a bit of, uh, I don't know if you guys know, there's urban legend, um, but there's actually video to support the urban legend of the, the lady who's found in the, uh, actually, I think, I think that's a spoiler too, so I, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, let me read the blurb one more time. In fact, let me read the blurb to you. Uh, historian John Keller is on a work trip in Switzerland when the world ends. Now he desperately wishes he hadn't ignored the last message from his wife, Nadia. I miss you so much. I feel bad about how we left it. Love you. The one he was considering how to answer when he received a string of horrifying push notifications. Breaking. Nuclear attack on Washington in progress. Story developing. Breaking. 200,000 fatalities estimated, say experts. 
Breaking. Confirmed. President and staff among dead in nuclear explosion, awaiting more information. Two months later, 20 survivors remain in Le Hotel Sesame. I, I hope that's, that's right. Um, an infamous establishment with a dark and mysterious legacy. Uh, far from the nearest city, this motley crew fights to keep hope alive and maintain some semblance of civilization. But when Keller goes up to the roof to investigate the hotel's worsening water quality, he is shocked to find the body of a girl floating in one of the tanks and is faced with the terrifying possibility that there might be a killer among the group. As supplies dwindle and tensions rise, John becomes obsessed with investigating the death of the little girl as a way to cling to his own humanity. Yet the real question remains, can he afford to lose his mind in this hotel, or should he take his chances in the outside world? So yeah, uh, it does talk about the, uh, the, uh, the, the girl in the water tower. So up on top of the roof, you know, they have the water towers. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the urban legend or um, the video with the girl in the elevator. She keeps getting off and on. The doors are open. Weird stuff happens. And then later on, they end up finding her body in, uh, the water tower, water tank, I guess it is. Um, but anyways, if you guys, that's, that's the kind of vibe this gave me, um, which is a good vibe. Uh, anyways, so I, I suggest everybody at least Give the book a try. I, I would think that if you go over to the Look Inside on Amazon, if you read the opening sections and you dig the writing, the writing stays consistent throughout. Um, but the real reason to show up here is for the characters, because the characters have stuck with me. Um, not so much the plot, but the characters have stuck with me. So a solid four out of five stars, Goodreads uh, review style. I liked it a lot. Um... But if you have already read it, please let me know. I know a lot of ARCs, uh, advanced review copies, uh, went out. If you guys have read it, let me know down there in the comments below. If you guys are coming to this video after you've read it after release, let me know. I'd love to discuss the book with you. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. All right. So here's the spoiler section, if you're new around here. Um... I'm going to talk about some things. Uh, I don't suggest you watch this at all unless you have already read the book. Um, I, I got a, The only reason I do these things after the outro is because I've gotten a lot of comments wanting me to break down in detail what I like and don't like about things. Um, so this is a spoiler section. Once again, um, you can click away now and be safe. Okay, if you're still here, first and foremost... I, I, I can't I can't I can't help it. Um, it, it literally it's upset me. <laughs> um, this is the original cover of this book. Now this is the bound manuscript that uh, the publisher sent that uh, David sent me. Um, this is the final copy. That's a drastic difference. I mean, I much prefer this one. Um, unfortunately, this one just looks like your average. It looks like uh, Sarah Loft, or whatever her name is, Lot's novel, um, and it's definitely nothing like her stuff. I don't like her stuff. Um, Hannah Jameson is a much better author with actually with with characters that are that are filled out. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. I have no idea. I can't remember for the life of me. And I probably should have wrote this down, knowing how long ago I was going to re read it. Um, I can't remember what happens in the end, whether or not they find out who who killed the girl or not. I don't think. They do. They might. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but um, I guess that's great for the, anybody who's watching this, you know, as far as the spoilers are concerned. I remember certain elements very vividly, like when they go into town and they meet the other people, that whole, that whole back and forth there, um, showdown and everything. But the main thing I want to talk about in this, this spoiler section is expectations. Um, now, I just want to say right off the bat, if, David, if you're watching this, I'm not mad at you for telling me it was, you know, The Stand meets Lost. There, there was certain elements I was looking for as far as the Lost um, part of it, uh, the TV show Lost. There were certain elements I was looking for for that one, and, and it didn't fulfill any of that stuff, and that's why I gave it a 3.5 at first. But then the more I got to thinking about it, it's like, that doesn't, that, that isn't fair, that definitely isn't fair to the writer or, or the book. 
because that's not in the blurb. Um, had I read this blurb, I probably, I probably still would have picked it up, or at least read a review copy of it to try it out. Um, but that, that was the only reason why I had the 3.5, and I just, it just didn't feel right, you know, because otherwise I enjoyed it. I just kept waiting for something, and waiting, and when that something that never came, which was kind of like a sci-fi, you know, horror aspect, something like that, something weird. And nothing really weird ever happened in abundance. Um, but there, there's a strong, that there's a strong feeling of isolation in this one that many authors don't get right. And that's one of the things that this one gets right um, is the isolation, the feeling that these people are definitely alone. Um, I wish I could remember more about the ending. Um, that is another reason why I, I didn't go, you know, higher than four, like 4.5 or 5, because I enjoyed the story, but I can't remember the ending. Um, I, I seem to remember them going out in the woods, and that's, that's all I really remember. I need to start shooting these things as soon as I get done reading these books. But uh, I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to actually review this one, because the, the original reason why the book was sent to me was as kind of like an opinion um, it wasn't really for review because it was just a bound manuscript. Um, if you, if you look, what I mean by bound manuscript is it's literally, it doesn't have any, you know, it has my notes on the back, but that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.